Welcome to Concept Learn. Hello everyone. This is Yashaswini. Welcome to Concept Learn. Today I will be dealing with A metabola or the A terigota. Here under the A metabola, if you see here, this is the life stage of the insect which belongs to the A metabola. This is the egg stage followed by its nymphal stages. Gradually, everywhere it is looking similar in its appearance, but the only difference is in terms of its size. Here if you see, it is only increasing in terms of its size, but to look every stage is almost similar. If such kind of stages appear, only if they develop in terms of its size, those are known to be as the A metabola. So, the immature stages are very much similar to that of the adults. Here, in case of these insects, molting. What's meant by molting? Molting is nothing but generally we will be seeing some snakes will be shedding their uh, skin and then they will be moving away. Means there they will be increasing in terms of its size. Similarly, insects also, this exoskeleton which I have told that it is mainly composed of chitin and it is a very hard and rigid structure, such kind of exoskeleton will be shed, continuously it will be shed in order to increase its size and these uh, ametabolan insects includes only three stages that is egg, young ones and the adult. Now let's see like what's meant by incomplete metamorphosis. These incomplete metamorphosis includes the exoterigotes. These exoterigota and endoterigota comes under the Terigota, under terigota, these both are present, exo and endo. Here, as you see here also only three stages, egg, nights or nymphs and the adult. Generally members of the Odonata, Plecoptera, Ephemeroptera will come under this hemimetamorphosis or the exoterigota. As you see here, focus on this diagram, these are the egg pods from which eggs hatch into the instars. If you see clearly this part, in this part these are known as the wing birds. These wing birds gradually as it is increasing in size, these wing birds size is also being increased. So, here we are able to see these wing birds externally, outside itself we are able to see and so these insects comes under the order exoteriata. Only difference is that here a small wing bird is present and as it increases in size, the wing bird size is increased and it forms a fully developed wing. So, these insects as the wing bird is seen outside, these are known as the exoterigotes. Welcome to Concept Learn.